All right, you guys, looks like you're coming up with a test here. So here's a review for your test. So don't forget, all your lessons can be found at uh, mrmathblog.com. And then uh, make sure you go to the integrated math uh, link at the top. All right, so here's some examples here. This is just some, some variety of uh, examples here. So write an expression for each uh, situation. So let's see, the total cost of two notebooks that cost X dollars, so this is going to be 2 times X, uh, X dollars each, and a pen that costs 350, so we're going to add 350 to that, so 2X plus 350, okay, easy enough, huh? The price of three identical items uh, that are each 25% off, okay, this one's, a, there's a little couple of steps right here, I'm going to let P be the price right here, the original price. So if it's 25% off, can I convince you that is 75% of the original price right there? The discount price is going to be 75%. If we take off this 25% from P, so 0.25 is 25%, then we're left with 75% of the original price right there. So, so that's the discount price. And so since there's three of them, then we multiply it by three. So three times 0.75P, don't forget the P. So it's uh, 2.25p for all three of the prices right there, okay? All right, so solve the equation. We're going to go ahead and distribute uh, the 3 through. So 3 times 2y is 6y, and then 15. Then we're going to do the addition property, add 15 to both sides, and then we get 6y equals 24. Finally, the division property, and we get uh, y equals 4. Easy enough, huh? Okay, the formula for an area of a triangle is a equals 1 half bh where B is the base and H is the height. So the base of a triangle is 8 centimeters and the area is um, 40 centimeters squared. So it's, there's two parts to this. It says solve the formula for H. So we've got to solve this for H first. That's part of the answer. A lot of my kids just want to plug in the numbers and get the area. They only want to do the second part. And then find the, I'm sorry, then find the height. I said area. Then find the height of the triangle. Let's first solve for H, okay? So we're going to multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of this 2 right here. So those are going to cancel. All right, you get 2A equals uh, BH. Okay, and then we're going to divide by B to get rid of the B. So we get uh, H equals 2A over B. Remember, that's the first part. They said solve for H. So you got to do that also. Okay, now we can plug in. A equals 40 and B equals 8 right here. So 40 here and 8 right there. And then just go ahead and solve them. When we do that, we should get um, uh, 10, 10 centimeters. Okay, always answer it in the context of the problem. So this one's in centimeters. All right, solve. All right, colleagues, on this one here, you treat this just like an equation. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get rid of this 9x. You can do a, a couple of different ways. I chose to do uh, minus 9x on both sides first, okay? And then so uh, common error is kids uh, think this is 7x or negative 7x. It's negative 11x because you add these two guys together, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and add the 13 to both sides right there. And uh, now we're going to divide by negative. So when we divide by negative, it flips that inequality in the other direction right there, okay? So then these are going to cancel, and we get negative 3 on the other side. Now, if I was going to graph this on a number line, it would be a closed circle on negative 3, and it would be shaded to the right. As long as your x is on the left, I wish I had done that in this video, but I didn't. Uh, as long as the x is on the left, then the inequality tells you which way to shade, okay? All right, so let's do that with this one. This is an AND statement. This is where we have two numbers. The answer is going to be two numbers uh, uh, on both sides and X in the middle. So I'll show you what we do on that. So we subtract 2, and then when we subtract 2, we get that. Now we divide by that 2, and then when we divide by 2, there's our answer right there. So if we were going to graph this, I did not on this video, but if we did, it would be an open circle on 5, it would be a closed circle on 10, and it would be shaded in between the two, okay? All right. Okay, this one here, let's distribute the negative 5 through. Be careful. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. Okay, and then we're going to combine these like terms. Negative 17 and negative 15 gets us negative 32. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and plus that 5x to both sides, and we get 8x over there, and then divide by 8, and we get x equals negative 4. Okay, all right, so write an expression or equation for each situation. We did these in the beginning. So the original price of an item plus a sales tax of 9.5%. Uh, okay, 9.5%, if I move the decimal over two places, becomes 0 0.095. So we let P be the original price. So if we add the 0 0.095P, the sales tax, 
Uh, it's going to be the original price plus the 0 .095, so it's 1.095p, okay, with that sales tax. All right, the sum of the cost of dinner and a $12 tip, so that's going to be D plus 12, and then we're going to divide that by 3, so we just put that all over 3. That means divided by. All right, so given X is less than Y, compare the following expressions and determine which is greater, 2X minus Y or 2Y minus X. All right, this is real vague right here, you guys. I'm going to assign these guys numbers. I'm going to make x equal 1 and y equal 2 because 1 is less than 2. And once you do that, um, then it becomes a real problem. Just plug in. It, they don't have to be 1 and 2. I just chose small numbers. They're easy to work with. So then 2x minus y becomes 0, and 2y minus x becomes 3. 3 is bigger than 0, so that means the 2y minus x is going to be bigger than the 2x minus y. Okay? All right, so the formula y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1 is the point-slope form of the equation of a line, where m is the slope, and xy and x1, y1 are points on the line. So it says solve that equation for m, and then uh, find the slope of a line that includes those two pairs of points right there. Okay, so um, what I did right here is I'm going to divide both sides. It says solve for m. So solve the equation for m. So I'm going to get rid of this x minus x1. So I divided both sides by x minus x1. Those are going to cancel. And doesn't that look like the slope formula right there? Well, that's, that's the slope is equal to the change in y over the change in x. Okay, so y minus y sub 1 over x minus x sub 1. This is x, y. This is x, y. It doesn't matter which one you want to pick to be x1, y1, and x, y. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you put the y's on top and the x's on bottom. Okay? So I did, um, uh, here's the y, negative 2 minus 0, and then 4 minus 5. So if I did my math correct, hopefully I did, I get negative 2 over negative 1, which is a positive 2. All right, which of the following is a term in the expression uh, 15x squared plus 16x plus 10? Okay, this is a term, this is a term, this is a term. The whole 15x squared is a term, the whole 16x, and the whole 10 is. So 10, that's the only one that's a term right there, okay? The other ones, those are also terms, but those aren't part of the choices that was given to me. So this is a term, and this is a term also, okay? This is called a coefficient. This 16 is called a coefficient. So is this 15. That's in the next one here. So which of the following is a coefficient? 9x plus 2y, okay? So 9 is a coefficient, and 2 is a coefficient. These are the variables in there, so, so this 9 is a coefficient also, okay? But so is the 2. Uh, the 2 is also a coefficient on there. All right, what else? So Melissa uh, bought three shirts for S dollars each and a jacket that cost five times as much as each shirt. So this is going to be 3S right here, and then five times as much for each shirt. So the jacket's going to be five times S. So three times S for the three shirts, because each one is S. And then the jacket is 5 times this S, so plus 5S right here. She spent a total of $280. How much did the jacket cost? So we're going to set that equal to $280 right there. Okay, 3S plus 5, there's the jacket right there, times one of the shirts equals 280. So 8S equals 280, divide by 8, and we get $35. Now let's answer the question. This is for the shirt. S is the cost of one shirt, and the question is, how much did the jacket cost? So we're going to multiply 5 times S, and that's going to give us uh, $175. Pretty nice looking jacket, I would suppose. All right, you guys. Hey, good luck on your test, and don't forget to like the video. Take care, you guys.